All right, let's move. Just do it. I swear to God, if I find another elk, I swear to God, man. These elks have it out for me, but hey, more money for me. Surviving is impossible. Wow. This, I have a feeling this place ain't so silent. Oh. Welcome to the silent forest. This will make a good hideout. Search the shoes, there might be goodies inside. I'll harvest that later. Where's the workshop here? Bike bell. Hmm. Hey Zoki, thank you for the 16 months. Spooky trash. You need to explain the bike bell. Liquor tasting and transport services. Fast, efficient, calm now. The game never explains this. I assume you can just ring it and then you can call someone? I assume that might have limited use or something like that, so I'll uh, avoid doing anything with that. So there's a saw. It costs alcohol to do it. Potato and bread. Okay, okay. Uh, I should probably just spend more time looting this place after I transfer stuff. Alright, there- there was someone here. Oh shit. Who the fuck? Right, I 
I'm kind of glad there's no outright ins or insanity meter or whatever to deal with. Or so I think. I don't know. Oh wait. Oh, it transports your things to the current hideout. Oh. If I don't like the stove? Wait. Transports your things to current hideout. If you don't like the stove, it's not considered your current one. Oh, really? Huh. So, like lighting the bonfire in a way. I know, I know Dark Souls comparisons. When you light one, the other goes out. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can say screw it to the rest of this stuff. Alright, two runs and done. get screwed over once I get to the or once I hold up in the silent forest all right and as soon as I get back I should have enough time to explore around the area and then probably spend the next like time frozen morning to search around the house or hideout. Am I ready for more exciting nights? Oh man. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm never ready. There's a reason why I don't play too many horror games. And it kind of makes it all the more fun uh, since I don't desensitize myself to too many horror games. Bark looks, wait, partly chewed up? Uh, now hold up. Okay, bandages, Molotov. Actually, should I just spend the whole day just trying to shore up the defenses and stuff? Should devs have a map randomizes or map randomizer for every night? Huh. Endless survival. I'm not sure if my heart can take that. Huh, and a fan belt.
Oh, I'll organize that later. So, we got a lot of roads and stuff here in the house. Uh, let's just explore this little bottom chunk here and kind of work our way around the the zone slowly. Are right, you gonna head out? All right, Cav. Have a nice one. Okay, so if I had to go by rule of thumb, at least with today, so I think by 1600, no, 17, because the uh, nighttime starts around 7, that's about 1900, no, actually no, no, uh, 1800 is when I need to get back. So, 1800, I think by 1630, I should be back already. Because I need that time to move furniture, bolster defenses, and pray. Alright. Down, boy. Tank rack? Oh. to fight with your fists. I tried paganism. Record World War II tank. What, what the heck is it? What the heck? Oh, logs. Nice. That's almost dead. Ooh, a knife. Antidote. Ah, no more room. Extra scary with clipping textures. Actually, oh god, uh, I should have enough time. Yeah, it's like really close by. So I should be able to do my thing real quick, just dump everything. Okay, now let's get that antidote and whatever else is there real quick. God, I know I'm stepping over the time I want, but I really want to grab that crate. The other crate. Okay. Gotta go back. At least we got wood for days, though. I'm wasting. I could just walk over that. Okay, defenses. What do I do? Uh, so I need Molotov. I need wood, nails, nails, scrap metal, craft the bear traps. And... 
Uh, what do I hold up? So I can hold up there, or I can hold up... Uh, I'll harvest that later. In here? Nah, I think... Okay, I got it. God damn it. Light the stove. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> right. Oh my god, that, that would have been so bad. <laughs> I forgot I thought you had to do it yourself. I used up all my nails. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Why does it need to be lit? Uh, basically think of it as our bonfire for this game. It's our spawning point. Okay, in you go, little buddy. Is that a corpse? Oh. Oh, more mushrooms. Remember those dark ones in my dreams? Oh no. If I don't like the stove, they come after me at night. Oh my god. Forty essence, wow. stamps huh. I'll just try to remember Does not interrupt enemy attacks. Mr. Kill comes and gets me. Uh, sure, go ahead and post it. If I run out of the hideout for any reason, the worms come? Oh. Uh. Oh, I didn't move that lamp. 
Oh no. Yeah, I he needs so many nails. Someone hold me. Oh. Oh shit! Woo! One tapped! We still have... Six more in-game hours to go. Seven. Oh no. They're... Oh, they're breaking down this one. Down! God. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I kept interacting with the stupid clothes thing. It kept opening my menu. Like, are you... Are you fucking serious? Why I hold up in the bathroom? Was because I couldn't afford to find anything else. My right to not have my handheld. It wasn't really that, it's like I just really wish that Like I didn't have to deal with that BS. Because I, I could have at least taken one of them, but then I kept opening up the stupid thing. I am really upset about that. Like, you should not be able to... Or, uh, actually, no, sometimes you might be in combat, but you want to take, like, a quick item and leave. Two big doggos? Yeah, I know, but I, I could have taken one of them. Super bad RNG. Uh CBT time. Hey ice cream. How you doing? How's the hi doing Yara if I didn't say hi before? Yeah, like, this menu kept opening up when I was trying to swing at the dogs. Mm. Died as an American. Alright. The man stands before me, motionless. I can only see my own faint re reflection in the semi-transparent visor of this earth. Okay, I, I, I was reading the dialogue. <laughs> I can only see my own or my own faint reflection in the semi-transparent visor of his helmet. Suddenly, he starts to move quicker, as if looking for something in his pockets. 
He takes out a piece of charcoal and starts writing on his palm. There's no way out of here, brother. He shows me what he's written, then he wipes it with his sleeve and continues scri <coughs> scribbling. After making sure I've also read the second sentence, the man takes out a full tank of gasoline from his sack, places it on the floor next to me. Uh, <clears throat> that really screws with God. Because I really wanted to grab a bunch of nails. Oh, you can't repair staves? Oh, I should leave that then. Wait, so can you still get more reputation as well? Huh. If I survive? Yeah, they, they better because I'm going to need to go through these supplies every day at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play some inventory management for a little while. Man, we have a lot of bread. Oh, actually... Save flares. Yeah, like, I, I would have really loved the... Oh yeah, wait, did I switch off my lamp during that thing? Oh, I must have switched it off because I was trying to swing at the enemy. Oh, uh, that also really screwed me too. Because I couldn't see them. But yeah, I'm, I'm being really stingy with the flare, uh, or with bringing in flares right now. Because like, I know it's something I shouldn't just toss away recklessly. Oh wait, they, they technically count as electrical supplies? Keep away the dark ghost at night. Huh. I wonder if you can make flares. You sh I guess, I think you should be able to, but I think I need a better workshop for that. Flares can only be bought or found. Oh. Or I find it really excessive with how I want to organize my inventory. So, rope, stone, I just leave it over there. Uh, I guess I don't really need to board with nails since I have the staff with me. Oh yeah, uh, uh I, I lost my train of thought earlier, but can I still make a shovel if I have a broken staff? 
Because the game's, uh... Not showing me that I can repair something like this. Even though, you know, it wouldn't really make sense, but, you know... <laughs> Think you can, but don't quote you on that. Alright. So what needs wires again? So, just lockpicks? Yeah, just the uh, lockpicks, I guess. And you need rope for the inventory upgrades. Alright, let's make another lockpick. Hmm. No, my main concern right now. How am I. I guess I'll just sell the lantern since it's pretty much uh, dead to me at this point. Because you can't repair or refill a lantern, I guess. It's just used up. Stabs are common, however. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like I might have an abundance of stabs coming up soon. <laughs> I feel like I should be saving these meats, but uh, I'll just sell them. I, I, I need to buy something. Matchsticks, so eat you can use matchsticks for torches. Torches, Molotov. Oh. We say light source stuff. And they usually take one of each, right? Yeah, just one. I think I can live with giving up a little bit for money. And bottles. Uh, I think I'm good with the bottles. Stone. I, I wish stones have like one value to them so I can just hoard stones to, get to sell. Embryo tire. Got a bit of gasoline too. Huh. I'm not sure what I should do with the knife. Like, it doesn't interrupt enemy movement. Actually, how, how good is it? Wait. Oh, I'm stupid. Use as a th ranged weapon. Ah. Sounds actually pretty useful. Oh, you can trigger poisonous mushrooms with them? Among other things. Hmm. Yeah, I might just keep the knife handy, or on hand. Because I might want to chuck the knife at something from far away. Is so much trash? Yeah, because like being able to stagger your enemies is a, uh, I can tell is a very big thing to do. All right, so let's just sell all this stuff. Don't sell the gasoline. All right. So what can I get with this? So I'm gonna need a lot of nails, pretty much. Rags as well, but nails I want in particular. And I'll see if I can or should get the rags next. Cause how many do I have? I have about eight. Uh, I have three Molotovs. That should be good enough for what I need to do in one day. Yeah, I should probably move this lamp. 
Okay, so looking at this whole place, what's the best place to hold up in? Because I think this area is, or has too many different windows to look through and break down. I, I think holding up in the kitchen would probably be the best idea. Because it's small enough that like, I can just take my lamp and close it if need be. I can put the traps right here where I can see them. And I can kind of have a good range of vision about what's going on here and kind maybe just put up traps around the different spots I never really touch. So that uh, I just don't have to worry about them. Or at least delay any enemies coming in from whichever way they they want. I want to actually just put the lamp like back over here. So I can just have it shine uh, all over here without me accidentally clicking on it. Because this room is almost clean. I'm not sure what I should do about that chair. You ultra barricaded the bathroom. Wait. Oh yeah, wait. Oh no, I can I can repair this one. But I have to be careful. How many how many nails? Nine. Hmm. No wonder you said you took the whole or a long ass time moving furniture around. Oh yeah, this one. I think, um, actually, I don't know what I should do about this one. Should I just leave it off, or would it be good to have a an open lamp, like, in one area? I assume it would be a bad idea. This game has a second name. Ah, uh, 7-4 for, for that, okay. Dark U-Haul. <laughs> whoa. whoa. Uh, this wardrobe just flipped around. Or almost did a complete 180. Actually wait, hold on a second. The ghosts. Ah, ah. See? You're real spooked now. Okay, so I should be able to walk outside because I think once I'm out the fence is when... Oh, doghouse. Doghouse with the battery? Four wood planks. Oh, speaking of wood planks. Whoa, okay. Build that well.
Wait, I need a key? Well, how about a good old wooden plank? Plug into a charger. So let's put this one over, or this over here actually. The okay, all my nails are there. Put the wire over here. Put the pills away. what the best way to go about this is because I kind of want to do the strategy of taking all the furniture and just barricading or super barricading the restroom <laughs> uh. oh that and this door too You just want shrooms anyway, just sell the pills. Uh, what do the pills even do? Cause like... Uh, I can eat the pills, but they don't really say anything along the lines of healing. They they have no description. Nah, uh, just HP. Yeah, I'm guessing like with just random pills in its whatever form, uh, it just doesn't really do as much. As opposed to bandages or actual pills that have a description. So you can't like craft them with anything. Oh it does? Pills here. <laughs> some are instant wait, wait, some are so you're telling me these things are like random effects that just pop up depending on which one you eat. Oh god. Do I really want to deal with that RNG? I don't think so. Have a hard time remembering. Antlers heal too? Wait, antlers? I was selling all of those. Eh, they make better they're better uh value on money. Okay. And I'm sure I don't really need to well Oh wood logs. Yo. Nice. Oh, <laughs> the, the, there's a hole over here. Okay. Just numb on all the shrooms. Yeah, th those are much more safe. What was the pills? You don't know what they mix in with those. Just trust na well, what just trust what nature has to uh offer you. Okay, but we're gonna take some time uh dragging some furniture around if you don't mind me. Uh 
Uh, I'm so glad that time stops in the morning. I wonder if I should just unbarricade this, but I don't want to keep using my supplies to barricade and rebarricade it all the time. AI paddling bugs out with furniture. Ah, we're, we're going, we're going high Q plays right now. I'll see you guys next year once I'm done with this. For now, I'll just shove it in the corner of the room. Then I'll play Furniture Tetris. They'll just try to walk through it if the door is absent. Hmm. Actually, no, this is the doorway too, right? Yeah. So they'll constantly just walk. Oh, uh, so there's too many, too many furniture in the way. Without a door, they'll just walk instead of actually trying to push it out or whatever. Huh. Hmm. Now, I kind of don't want to barricade these as much as I probably should. If a door is present, they'll break furniture and the door. Better make sure you can't walk through or else the AI would do the exact same thing. Uh. Uh, the, uh. God, this janky instant furniture turnaround is so weird. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it is pretty weird too. It's never happened. Can I drag this table? Or sh shelf? I guess not. What's with this thing? What's with the smoke? Huh. Yeah, wait. How many supplies do I have left? I don't think I can barricade all this. Seven. Yeah, I can only barricade two more. The smoke. How's life in the woods? Uh, I haven't started whatever day I'm on right now because I'm busy rearranging furniture and thinking about how exactly the night defense will go. Yeah, I'll probably just go turn off the lamp because I don't want to attract monsters or enemies looking through these windows. Unless I want a diversion, but I don't think that'll work like that. I mean, I don't really have any business here, so I could also just block this section off and not even bother. That bug only works in the Silent Forest. Oh, the wardrobe thing? There are more fearsome creatures that will break anything in the old woods. Oh boy.
not spooked at all. Ah, me neither. Creatures like those are just are just myths our uh, parents tell us to make sure we go sleep early. Yeah. Yeah, the boogeyman. They dance you to death. stupid because <laughs> I still have these things all right all right so obviously they can still walk in the front door so I'd have to huh. can I oh I can drag the bathtub can I walk through from the other side the walkthrough test. Wait, do you mean like walk through this furniture? From the other side, you mean? Let me see. Okay, like, let's say if it's set up like this. That was our question. <laughs> uh. I forget, so anything else here? Is it just a stove? It was like a bucket. Oh yeah, I can still drag a... Uh... Something else real quick too, or real quick, so I say. Usually pack a doorway with walls nearby to make a not, to, or to make a not walk through possible. Huh. Yeah, there's a sofa. I don't have anything for that crate. Oh god, this is gonna take forever! If anyone needs to go on a restroom break, go right ahead. That th This old man can't... drag a sofa from house to house that quickly. Oh, that sound difference going from the house to the dirt. Cool. Now, if only we can drag the tractor. <laughs> uh. 
Your iron box. Oh, uh, I'm making a modified version of that. I'm making a furniture box. Uh, I'm just boxing myself in, enclosed in a fortress of furnitures and other doodads I can pick up and push around. Box 16. <laughs> Unless they come from below ground. Uh, I can expect like enemies that would spawn from underground or something like that. I can see that. I actually felt like I was moving furniture. Too much dark wood, 7 out of 10. Huh. But I still need something for these doors. Okay, how how am I gonna do this walkthrough test? Huh. Although technically it would be from the other side. Oops, uh, that's a bit too far. They just can't move the furniture? No, they can push it. It's just the- uh, you can set it up in a way where you can't- or the, where they can't w just simply walk through it if you just put enough furniture in a way that, like, things get stuck. I think. Oh wait, they can, but they can't grab it. Day 9 has spent the entire- Nah, no, nah, no, we're still on the same day. Time hasn't moved. Now I'm too tired to fight back. How do I, uh, what do I do to set this up? Q 
you wonder why time stops every morning. Is there an actual like story reason for that? Or is it just like gameplay? The power of shrooms. Time for a 24 hour stream of just pushing furniture. Oh man, where's the IKEA simulator? Believe it or not, everything has story meaning. Even for time freezes. Supposedly. the walkthrough test. So wait, left sidewise my friend should be broken because of the door? Right side the walkthrough. Yeah, I don't know what to do. So would it just be better to just, well, barricade what I can and just do what you mentioned just super barricade the restroom here. Barricade the bathtub room. Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah, it this ain't working, Chief. Tetris I got it. The <laughs> other trader. He's not even gonna help uh help out his fellow man. What a jerk. I would consider staying in houses with more than one floor. Uh, I can only imagine, like, more floors means more floors of entry. Can I reset time now? Yeah, let, let me just drag all this furniture to the kitchen and then I'll play with furniture Tetris here. More places to hide. Nah, nah, they, these guys can sniff you out real good. Is that a door? Be a shame if someone were to walk through it. Like any reasonable human being. Dark wood home improvement. Be a shame if something broke along with the furniture. Playing as a house flipper.
Uh. Paranormal real estate agent. Yeah, Skylark. A uh, high like in Darkwood home improvement. <laughs> I I'm just packing this stuff here for now. Being these messing me up. I mean, like, I'm not gonna leave it like this. Too far. These stubby little arms can't grab that furniture. Okay, so let me just think about it with just these. Just be able to. Ah, oh, I can't fit the. Come on! Yeah, just a little. Ah, oh, come on, it was almost the perfect fit. this work? <laughs> this box is actually making it harder for me. Probably just do it like this. Hmm. I guess would that be enough or should I Hmm. I mean The table and stuff would probably get wrecked anyways. Try it out. Well, I actually don't have a way to get to the other side. Uh, I barricaded this door. <laughs> I would just assume so? I'm pretty sure I don't get my mats back when I barricade this, so... panic and barricaded everything. I'd say that's good enough, to be honest. Famous last words. So wait. The way you went about it is the door I barricaded. The wait, the boar or the door I barricaded with a shelf as well. Yeah, actually. 
left it less defended with bear traps instead. Yeah, like... Huh. So you put your bear traps over here? Oh, and had no barricade? Oh, no, no, no barricade. Or furniture barricade or like barricade barricade? Because like, I'm kind of curious about how... Sometimes if it's better or not to leave a window or door unbarricaded. Bear traps in the lobby. No furniture either. I mean, you did say that furniture would probably break if they try to bust in, so there's that too. I wonder what I'm gonna do with this bathtub. <laughs> uh. It would open constantly? Oh, wait, if you stand. Oh, you can just keep shutting the door on them? Oh my god. <laughs> They want- it's <laughs> so, so stupid. I mean, maybe I mean, if it works, but... <laughs> also, uh... Would there be a point... To putting... A lot of bear traps around, uh... Around various windows or entryways around the house, or... Because, like, I, I remember when certain doors opened or when the night ended, I see that the traps were dismantled. And I basically lost out on some scrap from just regularly disarming it. It will slow them down. Ah. Uh, because I was wondering whether or not it actually triggers against something. Because, you know, you don't really see the corpse when it's the morning again. Yeah, like... Probably put a bear trap per window. That is what happens. Except, yeah, I, I can tell some mods would be an exception. Some mods are hyper aggressive and just jump through the door. Oh! Oh, fun! Oh. oh, how much scrap do I have? So I need scrap for... Well, there's a single shot stuff, but I'm never gonna use it. Yeah, so like, bear trap... That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I should probably just store them for the time being. No matter how you walk, it won't budge. Yeah, I think that... Huh. I think that it should be enough. Or maybe if I drag the box a bit closer to the middle here, then it wouldn't give much room for the wardrobe and the sofa to be, you know, pushed in diagonally. Oh, the bathroom had no door. So break the door with the front. Oh, right. That's why that bug doesn't work with a door. Ah, uh, I'm guessing I'd be. I mean, it it were it would work just the same if you just uh, left the door open, right? Or would they still bust through just because there is a door that exists? 
I could leave the door open. Yeah, I was wondering about that. And even if they do bust through, it's a bit of a gamble. Hmm. Could be like two bear traps. You can rebuild furniture, by the way? Oh, okay. Alright, what's my status right now? Rags and other stuff. Barricade, barricade. I don't think there's real much point barricading these windows unless I just want to burn mats. Yeah, no, I think I don't think I'll do that. More cost efficient to not repair it. Yeah, I, I think I can kind of see now uh, after you explained everything. Battery. Uh, yeah, I already refilled the generator. Okay. Anything else that I might want from the trader? Because I already got my nails. Uh, I have enough wooden rags to work with for a little bit. And... I mean, I could use more scrap. Let's just take some scrap, actually. Just hope we don't get double doggos. Just bring both lamps. One lamp will go. Oh yeah, like that one time when one of my lamps went out. Oh wait, that, that's when you uh, said I locked out, huh? No, no, don't bash the lamp. What am I doing? Ooh. How you doing, Gazpacho? Welcome to, uh, Dark Ikea. Dark Ikea Home Improvement. I, I think for like maybe even the past 30 minutes or more, we, I've just been kind of talking with Scarlack with moving furniture and discussing things. Gotcha Sim is like your FGO experience. leave that off. And then turn the other one on as needed. The bathtub! I have no idea what I'm doing with this bathtub. <laughs> Can I believe that there's a harder place to survive than this place? I wonder what makes you say that! <laughs> oh boy. Indivisible is okay. Uh, I heard a lot about Indivisible. One question. Go for it. <sighs> okay, so tank, wood. There has to be something here. I know about La. Yo, uh, is that Spanish? 